Hello everybody, it's Kenneth from the Archives here with another video that delves into the history of the University of Dundee. Today I'm going to be looking at one of the shorter-lived university buildings, New Dines. When we show people this picture, or any picture of this building, it often puzzles them. They don't recognise it. Uh, they realise it's a modern building, but can't place it on the campus at all. And that's because it has been gone for the campus for quite a while, and it had quite a short lifespan. Unless you were on the campus between the early 60s and the early 1980s, you would have never actually seen this building. And this building is New Dines. Now, why it had a short life and how it came about is what I'm going to look into today. Since the early 20th century, University College Dundee's Students' Union had been based in a converted Georgian villa at One Perth Road, originally known as Ellen Bank. Next door to it was the University Library in a similar villa called Union Mount. Now, both these buildings are still university buildings today, although the Union and Library have long since moved out. By the 1950s, however, it was clear that the facilities at Ellen Bank were too small for an ever-expanding student population. And thus, there was a move to build new student facilities for what was then Queen's College. And indeed, this became even more imperative as we went on into the 60s, and it became clear that Dundee was going to become a university in its own right. And this led to a building project, and it was a building project in two phases. In the photograph on the left, the building that dominates is the Students' Association building of today, sometimes called the Union, sometimes called JUSA. And it's still an important building on campus, still a striking building, and it is still the main Students' Association building. But it was actually phase two of the plan. Phase one was the building on the right, New Dines. Now you can see that New Dines was obviously a lot smaller. But if you look at the campus plan from the 70s on the right here, you will see Building 24 is the Students Association building we know today. Building 22 is the chaplaincy which was linked to it, but the chaplaincy was also originally linked to New Dines, which is Building 23, and which was phase one of the development. Here you can see New Dines not long after it was built, in both from the air and on the ground. It was completed in 1963, and it was the first part, as I've said, of the Students' Association to be built. Now, it was an obvious one to start with. It was a smaller building. It was built on a smaller patch of land. The eventual Students' Association building would be built on top of Early Terrace, which had to be demolished. And you can see Early Terrace in the photograph there. New Dines opened in 63. It was primarily intended that it would be a student refectory catering for up to 750 students. It would offer hot meals. It would also have laundry and shower facilities. Now, that was the main aim, but in its early days, it had other purposes as well because the student population was expanding, but this big new phase two of the Students' Association was never actually arriving. The Students' Association building, despite being promised, never actually arrived until 73, 74 session. And if you go through ANASAC uh, in the late 60s and early 1970s, you see often quite a lot of wry comments about students about this much promised building that was never coming. So that meant New Dines was taking on other roles. It was used as a place to hold meetings. It was used for concerts. Uh, and it was also used for dances or hops, which were very popular in the 1960s. And here we see it in its glory days. Uh, you see it in colour on the picture on the left. The crane there's probably working on the chaplaincy as that photograph was taken about 1971. Uh, on the right, you see the building a bit more clearly and you see it had lots of nice flowers and decoration around it. But already by this time, it had run into trouble. The big problem was the uptake of students wanting hot lunches was not what was expected. Patterns were changing. Uh, and so it was quickly making a loss. By 1970, concerns were being expressed about this. 
and the union had to raise the price of cooked meals, otherwise it wasn't going to be able to continue providing them. In 1971, it was reported that New Dines was under clear threat of closure. And this was because of the Students' Association losses of that year, which were just over £5,000. Something like 90% of them could be attributed to the loss they were making on the meals served at New Dines. And in actual fact, at meetings at this time, students indicated they would support New Dines being closed as a place for serving meals. Now, things did improve slightly in 1972, but this didn't last. And in January 1975, basically, it was closed as a catering facility. It just didn't have the uptake that was intended. And the new Students Association building could provide smaller catering facilities that were less costly. So what happened to poor old New Dines? Well, for a while, the showers continued, the laundrette facilities continued, the bathing facilities continued. Also, it was occasionally used for other things. I mean, we had this lovely big space. This is the dining hall after it had all been cleared. You see, it must have had lovely views out the windows. It was a large, big space. But increasingly, as the 70s went on, it was being underused. It was basically being used as a sort of store or a sort of add-on building and really wasn't fulfilling its potential. Of course, by this time, improvements in student accommodation meant that things like laundry facilities and shower facilities weren't as needed as they had been when New Dines was originally envisaged. So by the 1980s, it had really been forgotten about and was in quite a sorry state. And so it was no great surprise that in 1984, it was announced it was going to be demolished and the long-awaited new university library was going to be built on its site and the car park next to it. So that's the story of New Dines, a very short-lived building. Well, I hope you found that video interesting. We'll be back with something else soon, but in the meantime, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you again.